Hey everybody, it's me, Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie. On this episode of CD Junkie, I'm going to be talking about uh, an iconic, a legendary British singer-songwriter by the name of Chris Rhea. Now here in America, Chris Rhea is barely known. He uh, he had a pretty big hit in 1978 with the song Fool If You Think It's Over. And, uh, you know, a lot of people over here will cite his album, uh, The Road to Hell, as, you know, a, just a great album, which it is. But he's not that known here in the U.S. So this episode of CD Junkie is probably going to surprise a lot of people uh, uh, when they find out just how much material he has. And in order to keep this short and sweet, I'm barely going to talk about the albums, but I want to show them to you because I want you to be inspired to go out and maybe check some of Chris Rhea's music out because truly an amazing artist that the critics in the UK have been kind of uh, not too kind to him. But if you actually listen to his music, it, it, just superb, absolutely superb. Now, I'd like to start these episodes out by telling you how I got into the artist. And that's basically Fool If You Think It's Over. Uh, and, uh, you know, I thought that was a great song. So I went out and I bought the debut album, which is called Whatever Happened to Benny Santini. Now, who is Benny Santini? Benny Santini is the name that his label wanted to give him to make him sound you know, maybe more commercial or whatever. But he stuck with Chris Rhea. Uh, but this is the album with Fool If You Think It's Over. And this came out in 1978. Now, Chris Rhea has had loads of great songs, uh, songs that are full of life and joy and melody and hooks uh, and beauty and charm. But he's not your standard artist. His music is based around a lot of his influences like blues and pop and jazz and, and so much more. Uh, so it's really difficult to describe him. So like I said, I'm just going to show you the albums. His debut was Whatever Happened to Benny Santini in 1978. Then Deltics was his second album, came out in 1979. Now, this is an album that I always used to see in the LP bins, and this is probably the second uh, Chris Rhea album I bought, which is actually his third one called Tennis. It's very, very familiar cover to a lot of us American people who used to troll the record stores back in the day, because not all of this got released in the U.S., so sometimes it was a little difficult to find. Uh, anyway, uh, Chris Rhea came out in 1982. Water Sign. Another great album. Came out in 1983. 1984 came Wired to the Moon. 1985, Shamrock Diaries. Now, this was one of the albums that has been reissued uh, in deluxe edition. So it's a whole bonus disc of great material. Definitely worth tracking down. Another album in that series is On the Beach. Uh, this album came out in 1986. Dancing with Strangers came out in 1987. This is another one of those deluxe editions. Now, in 1988, he released an album called New Light Through Old Windows, which is also called uh, The Best Of. Basically, he went in and re-recorded uh, some of his material and brought it up to date with his then current sound because he's an artist that, that keeps evolving. He doesn't stay in one place, always adds new influences. So the version of On the Beach that's on this album, uh, which is called New Light and Old Windows, is the version that is wonderful. So there's another great song here called Driving Home for Christmas, which is uh, in my top 20 favorite Christmas songs. Now, the big album, this was a huge album for him. Critical success, commercial success, The Road to Hell. This is the two CD version with a bonus disc containing loads of bonus material and that came out in 1989 now Auberge was his next album and that came out in 1991 this is the expanded edition with bonus material 1992 gave us god's great banana skin which has a few of my favorite chris Rhea songs on it including the title track in 1993 he put out an album called espresso logic this is the american cover they did is they rejig stuff and they put the song god's great banana skin off of the previous album they put it on here but there's also a uk version of the album with a slightly different cover espresso logic 1993. now here's where the wow factor starts coming in in 1996 he created a film and a soundtrack called la passion or la passione i, I don't know what, how to pronounce it i barely speak english they reissued it in this which is a two cd two dvd version and like i said this is the remastered reissue uh, and it's very, very worth your time tracking down because there's a lot of great music. In 1998, out comes The Blue Cafe. Now, this is when the blue started coming in. The blue is in the color blue, but also uh, there was a transition coming in, which I'm going to uh, explain in just a few moments here. 1999, out came The Road to Hell, Part 2. 
sequel to his hit album. Then came King of the Beach. But then came the transition. Uh, Chris Rhea uh, was experiencing health issues. And he decided at one point he was going to devote his life to creating blues music. Now, that's not a good thing for me because I'm not a fan of blues music. But I started thinking back and I go, well, wait a minute. All the Chris Rhea stuff that I love is based on the blues. Uh, they, you know, they may have more melodic chord changes or they might have great hooks. But essentially, Chris Rhea has always been a blues artist, just adding different layers and different flavors to a sound. So that's what allowed me to uh, follow him into his blues direction, which basically continues to this day. But I'm going to just tell you the crazy amount of stuff that he's released. Uh, this album here, called Dancing Down the Stony Road, came out in 2002. But then shortly thereafter, they reissued it as Stony Road. There's some slight changes. This, I think, has a few extra enhanced videos, but these are basically the same album, just slightly different album titles. Then came the album Blue Street, Five Guitars. It's his painting, so it's his music and his painting. So he's revealing a lot more of himself through these recordings. Uh, here is one called Hofner Blue Notes. Here's one called The Blue Jukebox, which has some nice uh, packaging to it. Now, his next project took 18 months of work, and he was working on the album seven days a week. And, uh, you know, you would think like, oh, gosh, you know, I can't wait to hear that album. Oh, yeah, it's definitely worth it. You can tell there's a lot of work that went into this, but it's not a CD. It's a box set, 11 CDs and a DVD. That's right. His next album was an 11 CD album. Now, it isn't a collection or a best of all his other stuff. It is essentially a brand new Chris Rhea album that just happens to be 11 CDs and a DVD. Now, if that actually is a little bit too much for you to take, I will tell you that you can get a two CD version with kind of the highlights of the album, and that's available there. But that's pretty, pretty impressive work. Now, if you thought that last album was pretty impressive and he got it out of the system, well, remember when I told you uh, about that album a few moments ago called Hofner Blue Notes? Well, he put out an album called Return of the Fabulous Hofner Blue Notes. Another box set. Just, it looks great because first off, it's faded and, uh, you know, it looks like an old album cover. Uh, but this is two 10-inch singles and three CDs. There is the three CDs there and one of the 10 inch singles. Uh, here's a picture right here of what you get inside there. And that's the return of the fabulous Hofner Blue Notes. That came out in 2008, but he wasn't done giving his fans their money's worth. Out comes Santo Spirito Blues. This not only includes the Santo Spirito Blues album on CD, it also contains the DVD of a movie called Bullfighting plus the soundtrack and a DVD of a film called Santo Spirito and the soundtrack. So this is three CDs and two DVDs. I mean, this guy just certainly gives you your money's worth. So much great music. So what do you think he came out with next? <laughs> yeah, that's right. He finally put out one CD uh, release called Road Songs for Lovers, which is fantastic. Absolutely, it really is. At the end of 2020, out came a three CD box set called Era One. And this basically is a bunch of singles, uh, album tracks, non-album tracks, remixes uh, from his early period. And that's three CDs. And it's so jam-packed full of great stuff. And that is it. That's up to date. I'm sure that I'm missing a bunch of stuff. I'm sure Chris Rhea fans will probably say, oh, you don't have this, you don't have that. But I've been collecting his stuff for years and, uh, you know, we're always going to fall behind. Now, there's a bunch of best ofs he has out too. Uh, this very best of here, uh, and this has a track or two that I don't have anywhere else. Same with Still So Far To Go. This two CD set has two songs that are not included uh, on any other release. Anyway, I appreciate you sitting there and allowing me to talk about Chris Rhea. Uh, I hope it inspires you to maybe check out his music. It's really fantastic. But remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and to ring that bell for future notifications. And until the next time, remember me. I'm Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie.